Well, happy Saturday, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here. We're live from One Bethlehem Plaza here on the 19th of July here. Kind of a gloomy day here. We're not going to get anywhere near what we thought we'd get here in terms of high temperatures. Probably going to stay in the low to mid-70s, so a cool day for sure here with uh, some showers. Uh, we are actually in uh, day 48 of meteorological summer, which started 1 June and it uh, through the 19th of July here. So this is, uh, again, uh, season to date, the past 48 days here. Uh, U.S. overall is 1.4 cooler than last year. I know that seems odd, but the uh, 10th warmest in 40 years. So by no means record-shattering heat last year, a little closer to record-shattering heat. But uh, hot 90-degree days are down 10%, uh, still six months in 40 years nationally. And rainfall's up 10%, what is in four years, 12th, what is in 40 years. So, again, uh, hot, had a period of heat, but we've also had periods of cool here. So it's been a uh, mixed bag. Again, if you want to say it's warm, uh, again, definitely, obviously, the yellow areas here are maps, uh, max temps versus average. Uh, inset left, little tiny map there is the trends versus last year. So cooler along the East Coast, uh, Texas, uh, West Coast, uh, hotter in the Midwest and the Plains. Looking at uh, year-to-date, hot 90-degree days now from 1 January through 19 July. Here in the U.S., uh, losing a little bit of ground, uh, down 8% versus last year. Still fifth most of the past 40 years. Northeast, uh, down even more, down 27% versus last year. Seventh most in 40 years. So, again, uh, definitely some hot days, just uh, nowhere near the extremes that we had last year. Now, we're going to pick up some ground here the next two weeks. Uh, it looks like the U.S. will trend about... Didn't have as much like this period last year, but uh, up about 32% over a year ago. Second most in 40 years. This is going to be a lot of this is going to be in the central U.S. coming up. Northeast uh, up about 19% versus last year. So 14th most. So nothing too extreme. Uh, just a tear above average here for the northeast. And again, periods of cool, warm, cool. Looking at severe weather here uh, as of 18th of July, uh, tornadoes are now down 8% versus last year. A little bit of a lull. This time last year we had a pretty sizable outbreak, uh, not this year. So year-to-date down about 8% versus last year. Still well above average. Hail down 3 And the big win that wind cases this year has actually been the wind, obviously, uh, most in 14 years. 13% more than last year. Um, with this big heat dome building, we're probably going to diminish some of that. Again, getting some severe weather threat here, a slight chance from, again, the central plains into the heart of the Corn Belt uh, and into the mid-Atlantic northeast So here over the next uh, few days. Uh, hurricane season here to date, we've had three named storms, a little bit misleading because all the metrics are pretty much below average uh, other than named storms, but these storms didn't last more than hours in some cases. Um, so again, a little misleading here. We have another system out there that the Hurricane Center is watching. We'll see. It's heading in the general direction of the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, uh, Cuba. Uh, so it may just remain as a tropical wave, typical for this time of year. But uh, something to watch. And the next name would actually on the list would be Dexter. Looking at the last week world summer here, ending today here in the U.S., it was a cool week. This is a pretty extremely cool week, actually. 2.5 cooler than last year nationally. Coolest in four years. 16th cools in 40 years. So these are below average national temperatures. Hot 90-degree day index was down 21% nationally versus last year, least in four years, in the middle of the pack, about 18th most of the past 40 years, and 24% wetter than a year ago, most in four, sixth wettest in 40 years. So a cool wet pattern, not particularly great for uh, hot seasonal categories that do better when it's hotter and drier year on year. Uh, really cool there again in Canada, coolest in five years. Uh, hot spot's going to be there in China, and um, number one warmest, and uh, driest in 38 years across China. So cooking in China here uh, right now. Maps inset left are the trends versus average. This big map are the trends versus last year. Looking at this week here, again, it's a little misleading here. We're going to start off again cool here in the northeast, but then uh, expanding warmth uh, as we go toward the late week period. So week ending the 26th, last full week of July. Uh, a warming trend 2.2 warmer than last year, 10th warmers in 40 years, so above average national temperatures. Again, that heat dome you can see is starting to build there in the central U.S. Again, from uh, oh, potentially from Oklahoma, Kansas is probably where it's going to be anchored here. Hot 90-degree days are going to be in that dome, uh, most of it um, up 49% versus last year, sixth most in 40 years. And rainfall starting to dry out here again uh, in the middle of the country, uh, down 20% um, versus last year, 16th what is in 40 years. So we'll get a little bit of... Uh, kind of a uh, training over the top of this dome. Uh, so if you anchor big high pressure over, say, Oklahoma, Kansas, again, you could have some uh, thunderstorms skirting kind of in a circle all around this big high pressure system. A little misleading, again, this is a Tuesday morning. We had a few de cold, really cool days here. Uh, again, we'll take it um, some 50s and 40s here uh, in the northeast Tuesday morning. So the next few days are pretty cool. Uh, for us here in the northeast and again but that won't last so enjoy the cool weather because then by friday here we're looking at uh, 
probably a heat index uh, here, uh, heat index up near 100 potentially again from D.C. to New York City. So low to mid 90s for air temperatures. And again, uh, feeling like uh, almost 100 maybe for the, the big cities uh, on Friday. Again, it won't last too long. Uh, next week again, uh, weekending to August. Hard to believe we're getting into August here, but uh, 0 0.4 cooler or warmer than last year. So just a hair warmer than last year. Most in 13 years, warmest in 13 years, third warmest in 40 years. Again, see that big bullseye of red of much above average temperatures there in Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri. Again, that'll be the heart of the, the heat dome, if you will. Uh, hot 90 degree day index will be up 5% versus a year ago, most in 26 years, third most in 40 years. And again, a lot of that heat's going to be right there in the central U.S., Midwest. Uh, parts of the southeast but again 90 is pretty typical this time of year and drier 21 percent drier than last year 16th driest in 40 years so below average on that front here but a good good news is we're going to see some rain again hopefully going around the the big high here keeping the rain in the iowa illinois Indo indiana areas again hard of the corn belt here they should have a potentially record breaking yield year here if we can keep this rain despite the heat here so again should be a good crop year that's why corn prices are down around four bucks so it's a pretty cheap um, unfortunately for farmers but again hopefully a great yield to compensate look at the world two-week temperature aggregates here now this is 20 july through 2 august the general theme is a uh, heat dome right there in the central part of the u.s a little bit cooler in the new england northeast again cool warm cool kind of trends um cooler along the west coast cooling off there in the uk and uh, europe after some warmer trends although cool off there and again cooling off uh, also down under in australia for their winter and looking at the world two two week uh, precip outlook here again you can see again the precip will not be in the middle of that heat dome so unfortunately oklahoma and kansas are going to bake be hot and dry here pretty much for the next couple of weeks so with that folks have a great week ahead and we will talk to you again this time next week